RC, how worried are we about this? I, I've used the phrase a million times on this show that more young quarterbacks are ruined than developed. Are you worried yeah. about Justin Fields? I, I am worried. I think in the offseason, we talked about how the Chicago Bears had done the least for any quarterback going into their second year that was drafted in the first round. We knew that Justin Fields was in the worst position. Let's just take the last two weeks, right? And they, they were close. And you look at the last week's game. Justin Fields throws the ball to the flat. He has a wide receiver make a move. And that football is taken from him by Cam Dantzler against the Minnesota Vikings. Go back to this week or go back to yesterday. He makes the huge run to put them in scoring position. And he throws two footballs that should have been caught that gave them opportunities to win. And so if you're Justin Fields, you're understanding that the only time this offense does well is if the running game gets going or he does something phenomenally athletic that is over a top and above the X's and O's. That's a difficult place for a young quarterback to be that's constantly picking himself up off the ground. So if you think you can sit around in your office and figure out who Justin Fields is, critique, analyze him, or evaluate him with these people around him, then you're absolutely losing your mind. And, Brooke, I see in your notes here that uh, you see the reasons why people are optimistic about him, those who are. Right, absolutely. I have talked to some people in the league that say that developing a young quarterback is a three-year plan. There's a lot of impatience now, of course, because, I mean, we want to stream a show tomorrow. We don't want to wait week by week. So, God forbid, we wait three years for a young quarterback to develop. But the long pass, the athleticism with the legs, there's reason for the Bears to believe and trust in Justin Fields. But you guys know that I love a car analogy. And here it is. I mean, this is like you have purchased a BMW in Pittsburgh in March and you drive it off the lot and you go straight into a pothole <laughs> and you have no insurance policy to get it fixed up. This car is going to end up on cinder blocks if they don't take care of him and if they don't put him in a position to win. Not only is he going to be banged up, his confidence is going to be down and you've ruined a young quarterback. Now, I, I always associate you with the Bears, Sam. How about it? Well, people need to understand that this is a long-term plan. This is a complete rebuild. Ryan Poles, the general manager, came from Kansas City. He understands what it's like to rebuild a team. This is a younger football team. Some of the older veterans, the guys who were there before, are now gone. But some of the younger playmakers are making plays. The problem is it hurts Justin, it hurts Justin Fields right now because he doesn't have playmakers around him. But in the long term, whether it's – a year from now, which no one wants to talk about, or two years from now, which no one wants to talk about, it's going to be beneficial for this entire team. Hurts now, beneficial later. So long as he doesn't get it beaten out of him. I mean, that, that's the fear that we've seen with other young Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.